during my time as an image maker, I have messed around with black magic cameras, Sony cameras, Canon cameras, Fujifilm cameras. I've had the wonderful and fortunate experience of being able to kind of figure out what works for me and what I like to use in order to create images. When I first got off like the GoPro and the cell phone, my first camera was this old Canon DSLR. And then my first like professional experience was actually with Sony. So I just kind of feel like I'm not switching to Sony. I'm just going back to Sony, right? Just had to go and return a Pelican case that I had gotten for my C70 while I was shooting gigs because I don't need it anymore. And so far, that's probably one of the best parts about this switch is the fact that the stuff that I'm using right now, this Sony gear, doesn't require like a ton of rigging. Like, this vlog setup needs very little to just get going. The worst part about it is the variable ND filter, and that's really not that bad. In fact, variable NDs you have a ton of control over, which is another great reason that I also got this camera. Everything about this guy just screams bad motherfucker. It's insane. This camera is so close to the dream setup get the tamron 35 to 150 on here i don't know what else you need on full frame on the fx3 which i'm filming on now we got the 20 to 40 which is also like a thing of beauty get your variable nd you guys have heard all about that i just i can't i can't get over the switch so the big question right why both? Well, this is the FX3, and then this is the FX6, which is a little lower because this tripod is not as high, but like they match and they match perfect. So it's the perfect like A cam, B cam setup. So if I ever find myself in a situation where I need to run two cameras, I mean, this is it. And I'm super lucky that I have the ability to do this, but I have to tell you, like, the switch is warranted. See, so if you haven't seen this video yet, I went on a shoot uh, and filmed a stage play. At that stage play, they decided to use one light. And I brought the C70. The footage was so noisy and so bad that I, I wouldn't have used it. But thankfully, it was a three camera shoot, me and two other guys. And then everything worked out fine, as far as I know. But the footage itself was noisy and terrible, and it mirrored this ongoing struggle that I have while I'm trying to shoot this short film that I'm doing, which has also changed, and we're also doing that just a little bit different now. But the point is, is these full-frame sensors are just so much better in low light. And at a native ISO of 12,800 or whatever craziness it is, these cameras can pretty much see in the dark. I'd say a ton went into this switch and it wasn't taken lightly. Uh, hell, I lost a bunch of money trying to make the switch from Canon to Sony in the first place. It's actually my son's bed. So I guess the moral of the story is the switch is good and needed. And I just want to tell you like, just because you see all these content creators switching from Panasonic and Fujifilm and Canon over to Sony doesn't mean that you should. So many camera manufacturers today make so many great cameras and I can't tell you how many of us have one of these in our pockets that is absolutely good enough to film whatever you need to film on it. And if you don't believe me, check out this video right here where I explain it a little bit more in detail. For me, the switch made sense at this particular time in my life. And if you're upset about the switch, I'm sorry. But for where I'm at right now, 
and for my needs and for the way that I use a camera, this is what's good. If you have something like a Black Magic Pocket 6K, Black Magic Pocket Camera, Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro, invest in cinema lenses if you're shooting narrative, or invest in, you know, whatever, like really good glass to go in front of that sensor for whatever it is that you're doing. Or if you're doing like documentary work, invest in a really good V mount setup so you can run that camera all day. I'm just saying we get so caught up in gear and what it means to have the gear and all that good, happy stuff that sometimes we forget why we're image makers in the first place. And ultimately, it all comes down to us knowing who we are as image makers and the needs that we actually have to make those images. I hope that you liked this new fun style of content. I'm going to take this camera out a lot more and get out into the world and shoot content somewhere other than my son's bedroom. And hopefully you guys will want to come along for that ride. My name is Jared. Thank you for your time and attention today. And I hope to talk to you again real soon.